Look at them, they're so cute. Oh, look at that. They're gonna be cheerleaders when they grow up. They're already doing pyramids and everything. I am so proud of you guys. Proud mama moment. Hey guys, I am back with a new video. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a really, really, really basic incubator to incubate turtle eggs that brought these three into this world. So, it, it, I have tested it and it works. It brought these three little ones. So because of the really high humidity, I don't think this is the best option to incubate turtle eggs from desert species or land turtles in general. So this design is best for incubating water turtle eggs only. I'm starting out with a styrofoam cooler. They are easy to find, cheap, and work great. The next thing you need is a cute kitty helper. <laughs> Just kidding, don't do that. They really aren't much help. So first thing I did was trace a circle big enough to slide a small aquarium heater inside. Next, I cut out the circle. And now my cute assistant has a new toy. <laughs> So this is the aquarium heater I'm using. Here I'm just sliding it through the hole. And this is how it should rest in there. So now I'm cutting a slit down under the circles so the cord slides in there and fits snugly. Next, I took some mesh and I cut out a circle slightly bigger than the circle that I cut in the cooler. Next, I took some silicone and applied it around the circle in the cooler and placed the mesh circle on top and pressed it down a bit. So next, I am recycling this old piece of PVC pipe that has been laying around like forever. So the red line I drew on the cooler is my water line limit. It's about 4 inches, I believe. So I'm kind of eyeballing here and marked a line on the PVC pipe to let me know where I need to cut. And here they are. I cut two out. They are both the same length. As you can see, they are slightly taller than the red line on the cooler. And this is how it will look with the egg holding container already in place. So as an alternative, if you want more support or need to rise the egg container a bit, you can use a piece of tile to do that. Or if you don't want to use PVC pipe, you can use half a cinder block like I'm showing you here or just use whatever is the easiest for you to find. 
I personally am going to go with the two pieces of PVC pipe just because it'll make the finished project a lot lighter than if I use the cinder block. So here I'm adding in the water. The water should be lower than your egg holding container. So the egg holding container should not touch the water. Then I adjusted my aquarium heater. And for a bit more support, I'm going to use the piece of tile, although it's really not necessary. And here is the incubator basically complete. The next thing to do is to plug in the heater. This is a 25 watt aquarium heater. This kind of heater is great because you set the desired temperature and it automatically turns on or off when needed. Keeping the temperature at around 84 degrees Fahrenheit is ideal. So here's how I prepare the egg holding box. I'm using this 5.5 quart plastic storage box. You don't have to use this exact box, just any container that will fit inside the cooler will work. So I melted some holes on the sides of the container. This will allow air circulation. Next, I'm just adding a few inches of soil. I sterilized it before using it. You can sterilize your soil by freezing it or baking it or on the stovetop. If it's dry, you'll have to dampen it. The amount of water varies. I'm adding water in a bit at a time and checking before adding more in. So here's what to look for. Basically, when you take a clump and squeeze it, no water should squirt out of the bottom and the soil should hold the shape, but it should still fall apart and crumble. So you make little dents like this and place your turtle eggs in them when you have them. So into the incubator the egg box goes and that is it. We are done. Okay, so this part is completely optional but I think it's cute. So I printed out these two signs to go on the outside of the incubator. I'm holding them in place just with some tape. And ta-da! Now we're done. The finished project works and it looks good. So here's a small clip of the eggs that I placed on there earlier, except this is a few months later and the babies are here.
so that was how I made the incubator and in another video I'm going to be showing you guys the process of digging out the eggs and adding them in there and then them hatching and then like what comes afterwards so that'll be in another video so yeah really quick why should you use a incubator why not just let nature do its thing why not just leave the eggs there where they were laid well most hobbyists and breeders and just turtle owners in general we prefer this artificial method of incubating because it's more of a for sure thing you do get a better hatch rate and you're there to see the babies hatch like, I think that's really the best part and if one of them maybe needs some help you can help them in my opinion incubators are a great idea um, I think if you have a turtle, then you should build one of these. Don't wait until your turtle lays eggs and then build this. So if you think your turtle will be laying eggs soon, I really suggest you make your incubator ahead of time so it's ready to go when she finally does lay eggs. I have this one laying around for whenever I need it. And yeah. So for those of you who have seen my latest video, here is a quick update on my new super secret project that I have not said a word about. I've just been showing you guys sneak peeks. This is so far my progress. There's nothing living in there yet, but I think it looks really pretty even though there's nothing living in there yet. Like I almost want to have it like this, like just like this, but obviously I won't. <laughs> so yeah, I guess that's it for this video. I hope you guys found it helpful and entertaining and educational. And yeah, I will talk to you guys in the next video. Have a good day or a good night and I love you guys. Bye. Say bye, little ones. Bye. Don't forget to get your t-shirts before they run out. The link will be right here. guys so it's here it's finally here the most requested video on this channel is now playing and the most asked question is about to be answered so here's all of my pets